It's your girl, Sunshine. Tonight is Hip Hop Friday. Hip Hop Friday. Now, I know I left you last week, but it was all for the love of my family. We were having our own Hip Hop Friday, Hip Hop Party celebration. But tonight, tonight, Wu-Tang Affiliate, Wu-Tang Affiliate, are y'all listening? Formerly known as Hellraiser, that was signed under Wu-Tang, RZA. Now, he is known as Heaven Razor. But listen, he has a testimony like no other to see this man come out of something. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to chop it up. I'm going to go ahead and send him an invite now, get him on a line, and we're going to talk about about it okay so bear with me one moment i sent him the invite all right let's go let's go oh the testimonies what he's going to speak about everything it is powerful you guys just don't even understand so bear with me one moment while i go ahead okay all right i sent you the link Peace, 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 peace to the queen. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for taking the time out. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me, you know. Look, I follow Wu-Tang from the beginning. And when, and first and foremost, thank you, Soul Rack Music, for linking us for this. Hello, hello, loyals coming in. Come on in, come on in. We sending out the invites. And when Soul, Soul Rack was like, I can get you. I was like, really? I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but now yeah, that's my dude. That's my dude, though. He rolled with the family, my sister Isabel, from my UK chapter, my ghetto government officials. So when they came to me about it, I said this, you know, but there's no problem. Let's make it happen. And then they, they got with Queen and it was over. Before you know it, we we, we live we live right now on, on, on making it happen. That's the way we do things over here. Yes. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank everyone you for that stopped in, in, you know, share, right now in the middle share. of a pandemic and paying attention in the middle of a pandemic because it was a pandemic, actually. And, um, mm -hmm. They planned that pandemic. First and foremost, we're going to talk about it all, but interview We got to, because it's, it's, it's no more conspiracy theory, right? Everything is reality right now. So it's conspiracy reality, basically. Mm-hmm. Ain't no so, more theories. So introduce yourselves for the ones who may not know you that will know you after tonight that don't know you. Okay, okay. My name is Sharon Smith. I'm from Round Projects, Brooklyn, New York City. I'm from I'm from the group Sons of Man, Black Market Militia. I was featured in Maccabees. Uh, I could go down a lot of different groups and families I've been a part of. Featured with my brothers, the Killer Army, mm -hmm. uh, Royal Family, all Wu Tang affiliates affiliated. I told Judah you was going to be... Judah, my bro, Judah Priest is my GGO. Um, that's, that's, the, that's the top secret security right there. See, <laughs> see, see, it's different levels to this. Mm-hmm. And I we told all, him we you We all about be... building. We all about building, though. We building. Yes, you guys. That's and my I secret love service it. right there. Love it. Because, one, I was like, Judah was like, you got my man on tomorrow? He was like, Sunshine, I'm going to try to chime in. If I can't, it's because I'm at two events. I said, okay, you could just go back and play it and share it when you are done with your two events. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wings up, Judah Priest. GGO, <laughs> GGO Secret Service, you already know. Yes. So. Isabel, my UK chapter, Soul Rack is coming too, I believe, too. 
before yes. you go. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Share, share, share away, share away. So share away because we got we got to distract. It's a lot of things going on right now. You need you need a good distraction right now. You do. You so know, because a bad one can cost you your life right now. Mm -hmm. The last thing you need to be major focus right now. Exactly. I'm so focused. People be like, where you at? I was like, I got tunnel vision right now. Facts, facts. So, uh, it, anything could be a distraction. You get murdered in the drop of a second right now. There's too much Mess going with on. Your stay, stay, yeah. stay on point. Wake up on point. Go to sleep on point and wake up on point. That's how you got to live right now. Amen. It's not real. Oh, it's real. It's real. It's, it's real right now. So do you want to talk about your clothing line or the pandemic first? Or we can talk about talk that. My clothing line is uh, I just released my spring collection, as a matter of fact. And if you if you know, go to go to my website, www.diamonds with a Z O C dot com. Okay. Right we got we got everything from the at the top of the line, you're gonna see the different different collections. So whatever you want, we have it. If you if you into your summer spring collection stuff right now, we got towels, bathing suits, shoes, uh, what you name it. You name it. I was you, on there looking. I like that pink satin um pajama set I told you uh, about. That's, you know, I, I can't ask that. I made it for y'all feet, you know, queens out there. But I love it for the queens right there. Oh, I like I this it. this right here, they're gonna go nuts for. And uh, it's a couple things in there that I, my personal favorite. And um, if you into your summer, you want to do your summer satin stuff right now. We got we got selections for you. Shoes to match also, and you're gonna be the only ones with these shoes. See, it's Renaissance apparel, so we've given rebirth to fashion. Good. It's a Renaissance. Good. It's a renaissance because the way the way everybody looking right now, it's it's got to we got to put something on that. Have you checked my page? Because you see, I am unique. I like unique things. I don't have copycats. I get originals and keep it. People are like where you get it from? I'm like I don't know. That's that. See, that's the thing right there. I'm unique. Where you're the only one with it. That's the whole thing I did to the whole fashion thing. Exactly. So when you got my stuff, you, you're you not going to see a billion people with the same shit on. You're going to be like, I, I, don't, I, I can't wear this no more. Nah. What? Renaissance Apparel, you get anything from there, you'll be the unique person with that. The only person, they're going to be going to you like, yo, where'd you get that from? That's crazy. You're going to be like, oh, the, uh, I don't even know if I want to tell you because now you're going to be <laughs> trying to try to jack it. You know, mm -hmm. but you know, when I, when I buy something, I rock it and I tag the person I brought it from. So we ask our people to do that. Cause if you check our page, check my pages, you know, you will see that the, uh, the clothing page, we, 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 we don't play the games. If you wear it, we're going to tag you, we're going to show you, we're going to post a picture, send, we're going to tell you what you buy something from us, send us the pictures with it on. We, we got you. Thank you. Oh, I do. I do. Everybody knows when I say I support, I support. And I purchase a few outfits and I'll take a picture and be like, boom, I'll send it to the artist who created it. And then mm -hmm. I'm like, you go ahead and share. You know, I got my son a couple of outfits. Go ahead and share it. You can use my name we, tag. We do yeah. portfolios. We drop a portfolio and we do um, promo videos with the, with, the, with the stuff that you in. So this is why we want our people to be a part of what we what we doing here. So 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 if you if you buy something, we like send us send us pictures with the clothing on. Before you know it, you're gonna see a video. And you're gonna go, oh shit, the nigga put me in a video. But wow. this is how we this is how we doing it over here. We making it happen. Wow, that's how it's supposed to be. We making that's, it happen. That's what it's supposed to be, and I love it. So you will get an order from me later tonight. Use the uh, sales code because we have a different sales code, different seasons. 
Okay, well, inbox me. I'm a, I got you, so. no question. I got you, no question. And and I'll tell you, okay, I'm and I'll screenshoot my purchase to you after and send yes, it to your inbox. At the sell right now, we have two things going on right now on YouTube. The full documentary is out right now. Risen the story of Sharon Hellraiser Smith is on YouTube. The full documentary for free for everybody to go watch. So I finished Indy, watching. Indy Wright, Wright's uh, YouTube channel, the distributor for the film, they put it on a today was the day they, they put it on their they, 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 they YouTube page. So the link is on all my pages already. So if you look and you see, oh, go tag it on, you go watch the film right now. I so shared it the today. Film, the film so far since it's been released in 2020, we won four awards for that already. Let four. me tell you, congratulations on that. Your that I would say Salah to that. Salah praise the most high for that because he's listening. Because everybody's saying, oh, you know, I had to pray for you, this, 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 and that. These are the kind of things that he try to show you that, that I'm still still paying attention to y'all. Keep keep you pushing, you know. Because I wouldn't even be, I shouldn't even be here talking to you right now. And for those that did set up a prayer for me during that time, told I robot me thank you in Hebrew. Told I robot the water for all my people that was out there throwing up prayers for me because it got it got answered and I'm able to sit here and talk to you and say thank you for them right now. Is that real? Oh no! And that's it why is. the film is called Risen, because I was supposed to, supposed to, and it's deep because in the film, I just started the Heaven Raiser album, so I changed. I was changing my name from the whole Hellraiser concept. That was the end of that. So, so I was ending in that and beginning the Heaven Raiser era started. So right mm. now, right now, Heaven Raiser is born. So if you go and look up any any say 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 whatever you iTunes Apple wherever you listen title wherever you listen to your music, you type in Heaven Razor right now. A whole catalog of music will come up that was never there, and uh, just to show you how the Most High works, and um, because before that everything was only Hellraiser, and um. He wasn't even alive. And um, now he has a catalog of music. It's, this this mm -hmm. is how real it is. And, um, and it's a lot more to come. Because what I was doing was I was shifting over. How Razor became the brand, the company brand, music, film, and fashion. So, so then, then Heaven Razor was born to do the music. So Hell Razor Music Inc. was born the aneurysm happened, bam. I turned in the Heaven Razor album to Nature Sound. Dead one helped me get it together. He produced mm -hmm. half the album. That's one of my favorite albums out my whole career. It's, I can't even say that. And it's funny because Renaissance Child, I felt I couldn't do I could not do that. In 2007, when I finished my first album, I said I ain't gonna I don't know how I would never be able to do this again. And I was scared. And um then I did Razor's Bladder. So I dropped two albums that I couldn't outdo in the same year. So I put out Razor's Ladder and then The Renaissance Shop. So in 2007, I was preparing the mind that I was about to do this, do this heaven thing was about to happen. But I wasn't saying it. And um, the album, The Renaissance is a rebirth. So I was letting you know the rebirth. I'm, I'm The Renaissance Shop. I'm going to rebirth this whole thing, change my whole style and everything. So 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 then I dropped the Razor's Ladder to tell you I'm going to go up the ladder. And in the beginning of the, the Razor's Ladder album, my brother, my, my op, Crown Prince, um, he opened up the album for me. And, I, and he talks about the, 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 the ladder and what it means, the symbolic to what it breaks down to in, in all reality. And um, this was before the aneurysm. And uh, it's interesting because the Razor's Ladder was before I even before I even went into the Heaven Razor Chamber, and uh, but it was t telling because right after that I put out the um, the first album on my record label when I first started it back then. It was Heaven Razor Music. The first project was called the Ultra Sounds of the Renaissance Child. 
So when I put out the ultrasounds, I was letting you know I, this is before the Renaissance Child. So what what it was was this was music I had before I did that album, and before I had even started the album. So what I did was I was left with so much music that I didn't use. I'm like, what I'm gonna do with it? I said, okay, we can start the label with this. The ultrasounds, do the old, we call it the ultrasound. So it's before that. We're gonna take them before before the birth. So then the Renaissance Child came, 2007. I dropped that. My that was my first solo album. Talk about scared. I was like, oh my god, I can't do this. I don't know how this is gonna happen. But the right team made it happen. And um, mm -hmm. my brother Amar McCaskill from Chicago, basketball player. Dev one, we sat down. We got we got a killer priest, Timbo King. We sat down, we got it, we, my team went out hard for me. Tragedy, mm -hmm. Kadaki, William Cooper, we sat down, Black Market Militia was there, we was hard for me. Like, yo, this this gotta happen, yo. And it, and it did. My brother Talib Kweli came through, rest in peace, rest in power, MF Doom came through, produced the joint, and got on it. Mm -hmm. That's one of my jewels right there, the Renaissance shot. that's why, I named the, the, the clothing line Renaissance Apparel to keep it going. Now, you said, let's address, uh -huh. you were Hellraiser. Correct. And you said you were changing to Heavenraiser. Correct, correct. That's when the attack happened because of the name change. And that, that aneurysm I can relate to, and I walked through it with my grandmother. I was with my grandmother in Comac Movie Theater. We just finished watching a movie, and we went to the bathroom, and she just dropped. We're in the middle of talking, and then she just dropped. And thank God, she, my mother is a nurse. She trained me on, if something happens, feel a pulse do this, do that, and lift their head up and things to that nature. I automatically called security to get an ambulance. Then I called my mother. And if my mother didn't make it to the hospital to raise all holy, mm -hmm. holy, that she would have died in the emergency room. My that's mother how, made so the, that's much. How, that's how quick and instant it could kill you. Yes, it can. And I watched your documentary. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in because they said they watched your documentary. And one because of them... Because I love y'all for that, for that, because that, 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 that's the reason why I did the documentary. Yeah. Because most people, most people would have tried to hide this part of their life. They'd have been like, nah, I don't even want them to even see this or know about that. I said, no, it's better for them to see it and know about it. So I don't got to hide it. I ain't got to repeat it over and over again. I can just put it on film, and that's the end of it. And it shows, it shows from you a Hellraiser, then now you're Heavenraiser, and the attacks, but you still fought. You still said, I'm not going to stand in this position, because the enemy was trying to take you out because Look, of everything that was He went in. right for the head, and mm -hmm. see, they went to the side where I do the most powerful thinking at. Mm -hmm. See, 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 it was an attack. Actually, it was the transfiguration because it changed me to into the, the angel I was becoming, El Raziel. And that's when the Raziel was born, the messenger of God was coming. Because mm -hmm. that's what Heaven Razor was trying to, to bring out the whole time. He like, no, we need to bring out the bring out the angel, yo, bring out the the, the bring him out. And mm -hmm. um it's that's deep. when the attack, that's when the attack came. They're like we gotta stop this shit right now. Yes. Bang, bang, bang. And then, 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 then the angel jumped out for me. Like y'all not taking him. You crazy? Stop this shit right now. That's not happening. That's that's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. And um, everything and stopped. I, I love how the doctor said on your documentary. Mm -hmm. I love how they was like their doctors are saying that he's not gonna make it, but. You don't have the final set. The doctors is only human. That there's only one person who has. Yeah, the my, final my set. doctor's upstairs in heaven. So that's exactly. Why I'm that's who did my surgery, 
And that's 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 why I'm still alive right now, because he did it. He jumped in and, and took over. And he used you because you're a public figure to say if it can happen to you and you can overcome, you can overcome. You may walk with a limp, but you can overcome. You're his and testimony. Exactly. And don't think because people are celebrities, they're not human. And they don't have a human story or a human life. Because it's true. It is. And I want to say thank you for sharing that because I never talked about my grandmother having an aneurysm and going through what your family went with you to help you and to stand by you. And then for you to meet your queen during this process as well. And the minister and his wife and family. I love how it's a walking testimony. You are literally a walking testimony. You know it's so deep, and for you to use those words right now, I just recently, and I want to say this right now why I just thought about it. One of my brothers just passed away, and I just caught it. And he's on the Heaven Razor album. His name is Darnell McLean. I want to say rest of power to my brother Darnell McLean on my Heaven Razor album. And uh, it's deep because we were just working on something together. Me, him, and his, his brother-in-law, Heist, the producer. And they own my Heaven Razor album. They, the song is called My Testimony. The song we have on it is called My Testimony. And the other one is called Heaven on Earth. Mm. And this is why it's so it's, it's deep. It's deep. Because, you know, he's supposed to be here right now. My brother's gone right now. And it's not normal. And um, I'm sorry. When I go back and dig into that album, it's a lot of, a lot of memories in it. Because mm. I can feel what I, cause I was recording that album when that happened. So I mm. can feel how, what I was at at that time when I heard it. That album is like a personal, that's like a, you know, you know how Marvin Gaye gave him my dad? It was like, you know, he was hurt. You could feel mm -hmm. in that album like that. His wife was really hurt in there. And uh, you could tell why he had, had like, okay, I'm going to get this album. This is the end of this shit. And um, that's how that feeling is for me. You know, I'm like, yo, there's so much feeling in that. It's like my soul is in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's like, wow, I don't even know if I'm, like, I, I can't really have it too much. Because I'm like, a part of me is in the album, you know. And, um, and that's why it happened. Okay, okay. I'm like, so, but I did make the decision of changing that. It threatened. Mm -hmm. It threatened a lot of a lot of a lot of entities. And um, but it was time, and it had to happen. I love um, Soul Rack sent me some of your music, and you sent me some of your music. I love it. Are you going out to um, tour, or how is that working with now? You as far as touring right now with the pandemic and so much going on, it's not easy for me. And, uh, you know, I get around with my team and, you know, I move around with canes and certain things. So I'm not able to just just go and do it like that. And uh, when, when I get there, when my doctors give me the approval for that, I'm, I'm going. And, okay. Uh, I, I'm in therapy. I do my therapy, physical. So they help, they help me get to that level now. So, so I'm not trying to speed, make it speed mm -hmm. fast and do something that I shouldn't be doing. So I'm just getting stronger and stronger, working it out, working it out. And instead, of, instead, of while I was waiting, working, working out, I decided to take the working out part and put it on film. I'm like, why don't we mm -hmm. just film it and just show them, show them what's happening so, so I ain't got to keep repeating this shit over and over again. And they'll see it and they'll understand, oh, this shit is real for them. Mm -hmm. It's not no conspiracy theory or no rap gimmick. You know what I'm saying? No. It's my life right now. And you're sharing it with the world. And that's helping others who have endured the aneurysms, who have family members that supported them through the trials. And, and I know it's not easy on you or them because they want to help, but then they want to um, also let you express yourself. Because watching the documentary, it shows that. And it shows that you were getting frustrated. But then 
you stopped being frustrated, you worked harder, and everybody was on one accord for getting you back to being the better version. Correct. So now, put us in your everyday process. So right now, whoever didn't see the documentary, I shared mm -hmm. it on Facebook. We'll share it here as well. Trust me when I say you want to see it because it shows you a ordinary life. And then when medical crisis hits, the detrimental, the revision, revamping of your life and everything. It's See, touching. When it, when, it, when it got presented to me, the two, my two brothers, Robert Juster and Frank Meyer came to me with the, with the, with the, with the, the idea and the presentation. And I wasn't, any other people, I wouldn't have been comfortable with the show. They were like, nah, 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 I gotta, I gotta, can't do this shit. But the way I knew that, that was from, from me coming from them, I'm like, you the perfect tool that I could have. Y'all already, I ain't gotta explain that. Y'all already know everything. So, so it worked perfectly. And that's why it's keep winning and keep winning and keep winning. Because now all, everything was locked in alignment together for it to happen. And it just went, it went through the roof. And, um, and that's four awards now, right? Four. Almost, it's like each one that we enter, we end up winning. I was happy the most to, to get to Harlem, the Harlem, the the that one, the People's Film Festival. I was scared like to lose at home. Like, if I lose at home, they're gonna bad. They're gonna lose at it's home. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna be bad. And, um, you wasn't gonna lose at home. Home was taking care of you because you took I care. Came, of and that's that's when it got really even more weird. I'm like, oh my god, the home so dumb. I say, I'm like, this is a better idea than I was expecting. <laughs> And uh, home shows you love. We got the you awards. Show this love. music, we won a music documentary. That's when I'm like, okay, he's definitely listening. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, oh man, we got the best music documentary in the war. This uh, film festival. I'm like, yo, talk about praying all night, yo. I was up 48 <laughs> hours for that. I'm like, man, I'm not going out. Please don't let this happen. The whole world will be looking at me. I'm like, no, no, and no. And uh, another switch. Don't worry, I got you. They came out and said that. I was like, okay. I'm gonna, I may just wear it. Yo, man, I gotta just, just go all the way out now. Because it's like, it's written in stone for me. Mm -hmm. So, so, so it's everywhere I go. Now, everywhere I go, it's gonna keep me. See, you can't, you can't escape it. So trying to rough for it, you're going to make yourself a fool. You got to embrace it, and that's what you did. So how is it? You had to reach yourself. Hard. It's hard. I'm going to tell you something. Mm -hmm. This is hard because when you're in two different zones and worlds and lifestyles, it's hard because you have a music lifestyle that's music, friends, and music things and music people that just understand that part of you. And then you have the family side of you that just don't understand the music side. They understand family version of you. Mm -hmm. And then you got the streets that understand the, you, the, that part of you. So they're like, oh, we don't know you from that. We know you from this and the school people. Then the school people I went to school with you, I know you from this. I don't know, don't know from that. So it's different parts of you. So it all gotta come together. It all pulls together. And this is for everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, any any artist in the game go through the same thing. It's different right. levels to it's different levels to the people that you deal with and who 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 you're gonna come across with. Now we have a, we have a few people that say um Soul Rack music is in the building. Hey Soul Rack. Yes. Medicine six one nine says peace king. And I kids. always like everybody to know that I, I we see you. I'm sorry. We want to acknowledge everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Ron, I didn't know your mother had an aneurysm. See, there's some people saying that. And then Shutter Speed Studios, if people don't know y'all aren't human, they aren't listening to anyone's words. Yeah. But you know, people think rappers don't, you know, yo, 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 they don't die. Mm -hmm. and shit. They, just, they, they just keep going. So it's like, it's not, 
to that point, and it's to, it's just real. And um, mm-hmm. like they don't want to understand. Sometimes they, 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 they really got, it's, it's that real. They gone. Yeah, it's a reality. We gotta face the music. So and tell us, super- tell us what is an everyday for you now? Oh, it's it's, it's very it's very busy. It's always busy because, like I just was saying, it's different parts. It's different parts of me. Mm-hmm. There's it's too many different different places of I'm being pulled here, pulled here, pulled here, and, I, and I'm and I'm able to, to to manage. I'm keeping active with it. It's it's good for me. It's good for me. It's good for me mentally, and that's why I just keep it going because I'm like this is pushing this here, and I they don't know I need that, and uh, it's it, it makes me stronger, and uh, it's different parts of it. You have the the film guy version part of me, the, that guy. And then you got the fashion designer part of me. That's the that part of me, the Renaissance apparel, that guy. And then, then it's him and Nick Diamonds get together and they start doing that shit. And then it's that guy. And then it's the guy that's the the, um, the Hellraiser music, the, the the artist now. I'm still an artist. Don't get it, don't get it confused in a minute of me, me doing all this. I still make music. You still can't go and punch in Hellraiser and I was going to show up. Still. Mm-hmm. I still have a catalog of music. <coughs> Even though this happened to me, I still have music. But after that happened to me was when it all started to change. And uh, the, 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 the first album that happened after that was the El Raziel album. The first album I put out was in 2015 sometime. No. It was right I think 2012, it was called Living After Death. Mm-hmm. Living After Death was the one I put out after, right after the aneurysm. Because, because after, after that, I was like, damn, the fans can't get me for music. And I'm like, what the fuck are they talking about? And I'm like, oh man, I got, I got music anyway. I might as well just put it out. So, 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 so I had a lot of music because I had just bought a studio. So, so at that time, I was always, because when I was doing this, I was like, once I started the label, I started to produce the music. I got I got to be a producer now, so I got to come up with music. I need I need music. I'm gonna need a lot of records. So I stopped hanging out. I just stopped doing shit. So I just stopped hanging out. I just all I did was was record. So I so I so I'm like I was like nah nah. I just gotta do music. I'm just gonna focus on the music now. So 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 my mind was working on that part. Okay. So then at the same time, there's a part of me doing the Razor Code, the running around with my brother Epidemic, the disciple, we was doing the film part. So we did the Razor Code, we was doing that, doing all that. <coughs> so, 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 so we, we did that, we did doing that, 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 that was doing this thing. So then we jumped into that. And then um, Frank, I know from, from Sons of Man, when we signed the Red Ant Records, he was the the guy from over there that I connected with out the whole circle over there. So me and him connected and we used to stay in contact together. And he was doing G4 TV. So he had came to see me for something with that we did for G4 TV. And uh, we did that. And then he was doing another thing with them. And then he came and filmed me for that. So we was doing, doing that. And then, then that from that kicked into the beginning of Risen. So then after that day, that turned into this this gonna be risen. Is a is is gonna be the documentary we're gonna do. Almost for him hearing that come from him scared the living shit out of me. Cause I'm like, this is like I don't know how much can I say that this is something direct it's like a direct contact now. So now I'm like I'm being now now I'm like I'm being contacted directly. So, so I'm like, okay, so for him to say this is like, what are the odds? Like, this is scaring me now because for it to be anybody that would have came to me say, I would, I would want to do a documentary with you or on you, I would have said he got to do it because that's the only person around me that I know in MTV and all that kind of shit. Mm-hmm. So I would, I would go with that. I would go with that. So when he said this idea, I'm like, like, for you and Rob, I, 
anybody that I know out of, out of my circle, out the Howard's music family, y'all would be the perfect ones that I would see to do it. Because they like the Howard's a movie in. See, it's different levels. There's the movie, the music. There's even a heaven raise of music now in label. That Queen of Prophet is running the, 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 the heaven raise of music. That was her idea, and I love the idea of it. And it's a uh, Christian based hip hop label. And uh, for, for Christian artists, hip hop artists, or mm -hmm. singers, whatever you may want to do, maybe a poet, whatever. So if you look interested to, to that part of the company, like, you know, I got something for the heaven raise of music, Inc part of your company, see her and, and, and you know, put that in the, in, the, in, the, in the air over there. Oh, that's and, uh, great. That's great. And see, that's what the size of the, that's, I don't, don't want to say what, for me, becoming, I didn't even see that far when I was doing the Heaven Razor thing. Mm -hmm. But that's why when she came to me with that, I'm like, oh my God, that's like the most amazing thing. We doing that. Heaven Raising Music. Genesis is on. He's um he's under Jew's feet. He says, You gave me my producer name, Reza. You gave me the name Genesis. That's Genesis the kid. He's on. My brother. Salute, King. Aye, aye. So he's a dope producer too. See, see, you know, producers be, be a lot of producers come to me, and a lot of the ones that have been coming to me have been fierce. And I'm like, oh man! And the ones that do come to me, we got albums out probably right now, you know, because we ain't playing, we ain't playing, we ain't playing. It's bad albums, bad projects I'm doing, and it's a lot out there right now. And if you, and if you, if, I don't know if you got yeah, radio hat, unplug from the radio and tap into the real world, mm -hmm. the real hip hop. You miss it out on the real hip hop. So I was gonna, we're going there now. What are you mm -hmm. working on now? Because you had a lot, like you said, in the crates, in the vault, that mm -hmm. you you just was like, boom, 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 boom. So, so what what's you working happening on now? Because now, now this, this, is, this is the building of mm -hmm. it. So now next is the Rabbi Raised the Rubies is coming album. Ooh. And uh, see, this is where the heaven died. The heaven raiser turns into the El Raziel. El Raziel turns into the the rabbi, and mm -hmm. then the, the rabbi raiser rubies is coming. And after that comes two parts of him. The Black Jerusalem is coming. So you got the rabbi raiser introducing that that era that that is about to come. And then I got got the project with my sister in Israel right now. Ooh. Nikaya, my sister Nakaya right now. We got an album called The Black Jerusalem is coming. And um it's gonna be crazy. And uh I mean all the way crazy. But Ooh. good music crazy. And uh like if you scared of good music, get ready. And uh I mean all the way good music. And uh, We want that good music. Let's go. Uh, okay, I'm keeping the stack with you. And um I for my for my Rabbi Raise the Rubies album, I swoo. I don't even know how I did it. The, the, the writing in that album is scary. It scares me to know that I even pulled it off. I'm like, I can't even, I don't even understand. And I wrote, that album was all done throughout recovery time. So, my did speech is pick? different sometimes. Sometimes you hear my story is different because I couldn't even talk and I was still recording. And that's how much I love music. Music kept me alive. I couldn't even talk, and I still wanted to do it. I'm like, nah, I don't care, I don't care. I, I can still. My mind is still telling me I can do it. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, uh, nah, nah, nah. I, I will have my son record. Matter of fact, you gonna do it like this, dude. I was showing how to work the pro tools. Look, do it like that. And then when he learned it, he started recording himself. So then he turned to a monster. So now I'm like, oh my god, this is even crazy. This is getting just as crazy. Cause so so now he's having son. So Heaven's Son is running around right now with music. And um, this is more parts of me coming that I didn't know it was happening. But he's the re he is the Renaissance child because that's the rebirth of me. Mm -hmm. So it all became a manifestation after, after I put it into, into, the, into the, in the universe. It, it happened. And whoever's linked to you is linked with the manifestation. 
that's that's some truth right there. Let's talk about the rubies. You name in the, the album rubies. rubies. Cause now. I'm a Jew. I'm gonna tell you something. I come from a project in Brooklyn called Red Hook Brooklyn Project. Red Hook Brooklyn is where Al Capone grew up back. This is where Al Capone got the cut that turned him into becoming being called Scarface. That didn't happen in Chicago. That was in Brooklyn and Red Hook and the back in, the, in Brooklyn and the back in the Red Hook. This it's called the Docks. The docks is where the boats and a lot of, lot of the water stuff, the, the waterfront is back there. Because you can see the Statue of Liberty over there, the back there. And a lot of the mob used to run in those areas back there. And uh, that was all mob ran. And because uh, the bear, the bear wars used to come through because it's the bear, it's bear factories back there. And railroad projects and so much there. And um, for me to survive out of that matter is, is not what's supposed to happen. And uh, back in the '80s, like it was, it's a lot of people just didn't make it, and a lot mm. of people that didn't make it is still surviving that that turmoil. And um, I'm a Jew to come out of that that chest. So to find me is like finding a uh, Jew. And when I say rubies, because when I speak to you, it's like I'm giving away jewelry to you. And um, it's worth something. So don't take it for granted. Let's talk about how the rubies are created. Because rubies is also, what you just said, is dropping nuggets, dropping jewels, but producing the ruby, how the earth, the crushing, the shaping, and then the breaking. And then once it's formed, it's mm -hmm. solid. And in your testimony, you had to be broken to know your full purpose. To be made. That's deep. I had to be broken to be made. And he can't use us until we're broken. That's deep. That's deep. That's deep because that's the truth. And I love that you did this documentary. I love that you showed not what I don't love what happened to you because I, as I said, I lived it with my grandmother. So watching it over with your documentary brought a lot me back at my, I went back to when I was 11 and she dropped in front of me. Wow. Watching your documentary brought that back to me, and I went back to my 11 year old self in action. So, when I say your testimony needed to be documented so the world can see that it's real, that he's real, because a lot of people are not taking heed to the signs of him. I just did a book, Essence of God, and the warfare I got making that book mm -hmm. to another warfare. Again, the breaking had to be done for the purpose to go forth. Now, look at everybody that's linked to you manifesting businesses more businesses your son is now full force brought out because you tapped into him and he tapped back into you and he's learning from you and now look at him a beast out here in the industry that's just one of them i have three mm -hmm. and they're all different parts of me my other son is just came back home from the army with honors mm. And he came US Army. home. And back home. I mean, for him to be back home is an effing miracle. In the midst of the, the COVID happening. You and know the war. That was for me? 2020 was entering. It was, it, was, it was like entering a door, a doorway. It was scary for me. Because I came into that year fighting cancer. 
I just beat cancer. I just I came into the, I came in fighting cancer. Like uh, they rushed me out the hospital after cancer surgery because they talk about the COVID is coming. The COVID is coming. I'm like, what the fuck is they talking? I'm like, yo, I'm hearing the, the doctors kept talking this thing about the COVID is coming. So I'm like, yo, what the hell are they talking about? I'm like, all these doctors look scared and they keep saying the COVID is coming. So now they're like, you gotta go, you got you get to go home early. So I'm like, what the fuck is this? I don't know what they talk about, what the hell is happening. But before you know it, I was home and then on lockdown. And then they said quarantine everybody. So now I'm sitting there, what the fuck is I'm like, yo, this this is not really happening right now. I'm like, yo, wow. So now we talk, I'm like, this, 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 they're not telling me it's a pestilence. What that was is a pestilence. And see, and see, and see what that is. See, we got to get ourselves right, too. Because if we don't, a lot of this shit is going to come back and bite us. And uh, then we're going to be looking for somebody to blame. And um, these are curses, man. Like in the Bible, remember? Put mm -hmm. the blood over the doorpost. Whoever has the blood over the doorpost, it will pass your house. Actual, actual, factual. And I told everybody, with the pandemic, God allowed it to happen for us to get right. Whatever was not right in your life needed to be addressed and needed to get right. Real story. Mm -hmm. Real story, because I bet you everybody was on their knees at that time when that was happening. Now, are you doing a part two? Because in your documentary, did not say anything about cancer. Now, your mother passed away with cancer. I'm not going to tell everything from the documentary because I want you guys to definitely watch his documentary. You have to. But let's talk about it since you said that. It wasn't in your documentary. It was about your mom passing from cancer, never smoking, none of that. And so see, that what happened. was your cancer? What was my cancer? My cancer was a prostate cancer. Mm. Now you're 45. You're October, beginning of October. I'm October 17th. So I was like, and you was like 1976. I was like, wait, 45. So I'm 76. What year you came? 76. I came 76. I came in. I came in. Bicentennial. I'm a bicentennial baby. So. With that, with us being 45, it's like we're getting hit earlier, not later, not in our 60s, not in our 70s with health issues. We're getting hit early but now. That's what it is, too. It's the 70s now, the ones that's get. See, a lot of this stuff, you got to keep in mind what's happening with the 80 babies is running shit right now. That's what's happening right now. Those are, those are a lot of the eighties babies that's running around right now. Yeah, that's what that's that that's what that's exactly what's happening. And then you got you got the younger one trying to be with them. Thank you, Soul Rack. He put in your documentary in the um chat. Thank I you. I appreciate you, King. Good looking up. Salute wings up for that right there. That's official right there. So are are you cleared a hundred percent now from? All the way, it, it's gone. Good. Another miracle, which is which for me, which is for me, it's like the, I, all the confirmation. So I'm like, hey, there's nothing. There, there. It's like, okay, okay, it try to it try to kill me three damn times at least. So so now I'm just go now. See you later. See you later. You and your demons, and see y'all niggas later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the enemy tried to take your focus off of what your purpose is by giving you that. But it actually went in reverse because it gave light to it. Yes. He probably sitting there wishing he should have left my ass alone now. I know. Fuck that. I done turned to put whole shit on. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Just, 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 see, 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 see. Just mess with God's children, boy. It's gonna not, not gonna be Come a good story. Oh, Better yeah. stop fucking around with us because you're gonna end up in a lot of, tr lot of trouble and you're gonna be mad at the end of the, at the end of the day. It's real though. For real. It's real. It's it's, it's just it's just real. it's real like that. It it's is. real like that, man. We 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 God's children, man. 
It's like, touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. No Look at here. Because I be like, do you not know if I'm bringing you a word and you deny me, you're not denying me, you're denying him. I do what I'm supposed to say and keep it moving. You know what I mean? That's, but that's, that's okay. the way. High Fire Nation Flames, Judah Priest Sisters that's in the my building. Sister right there. She GG yes. on official too. Ghetto government officials are in the, in the, in the building. I'm seeing them. Seeing a wing drop. Lion 718. She goes, Roni. So, oh, my yes. little beloved. So, what do you want to leave your viewers with? What, what right now? Yeah, right now. Um, I want to give them a thank you for the support that they've been giving. Because Judah she came in the building. A lot of people, a lot of people turn, 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 turn their backs on you. And you find out who people really are when, it, when it's a real situation. A lot of people that was 24-7, y'all, y'all go all out for you and do this for you, they was, they probably not even in the movie because they is not real. So so it's like if you're not real, I can't help it. And uh I can't you can't I can't make you be real. And uh that's 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 just the way you you, you gotta be official. And uh because all official people is right there. They still right there. Mm -hmm. They don't come as and go. We don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that. And and they probably was like I should have sat still now because now all this is happening. Nah, you want to cut out. See you later, my G. Hope you hope. You need a push. Want to get a jet packet while you while you have it? Maybe I can help you get a jet packet and get out of here even faster now. But uh, it's it's that real though. Yeah. It's that real. I tell you one thing, the most high is listening. So 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 you better be careful because certain things that you may you may ask for may come too fast for you and you may not be prepared. And you may not be ready for it, my G. Mm -hmm. And um, so step your game all the way up. Keep it up 1,000. Judah Priest says, Shalom, big bro. Shalom, shalom, beloved. And Demetrius says, It's him. Black underscore lion 718. It says, Demetrius. He says, Heaven Razor, this is Demetrius. Salute my sister, Paige Queen. Is that a female? Um, I can't see the way I'm looking at it. Is no, I thing. know they're going up and everything. Um, I don't know. I don't, I'm sorry if I don't know. Don't take it personal. Okay, she says I'm a female. So, uh, so I was right. Then. Okay, so see, 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 you don't go up the airports and, and it'd be right on target. Judah says wings up. Wings up. Family, mm -hmm. yes, I want everybody. Actually, because we got a lot of new stuff coming, so I advise you to stay in sync with the film risen documentary .com, The website, stay in sync with us because there's a lot of things moving right now. Mm -hmm. The film is moving; it's, it's live right now. The whole full documentary is able to be watched on YouTube right now. So if you didn't see it. I don't want to hear no excuses because if I see you, you have a long conversation where I'm gonna be like, "Hey, you see my documentary? What you think about it?" And if you don't say, "Yo, it was anything," I'm gonna be like, "Okay, you got to go. See you later." Because mm -hmm. now you sit here talking, 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 doing all this talking, and I got two hours of work for everything out there. You didn't even, you didn't see none of that. Okay, cool. So, 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 so that's why I documented it. I said this is gonna be done. So I don't have to keep repeating the same thing mm -hmm. for a thousand years. I'm like a broke record. Um, Demetrius says your sister and her cousin is married. That Demetrius. Mm -hmm. You know, we're definitely sharing your documentary. We're definitely sharing everything. Trust me when I say. I'm so thankful for people like, like, you know, grateful for this because, see, things like this get overlooked in hip hop and it gets buried and everybody started getting distracted. And, um, because there's a lot of distractions going on right now. There's, there's probably like 20 distractions that happen. You forgot it was a pandemic and a billion people just died. 
That, that's how much the distraction just happened. That whole... Chris They're still Rock dying. Shit, that, that was another distraction, too. That Will Smith, Chris Rock shit was a distraction for people. Come on. So y'all better watch, be careful of the Matrix, man. They, they, they can fucking with you right now. And, Here's um, the thing. They were focusing on that while the back door, they were trying to bring um our woman's rights down. Yeah, wasn't some, hold that. About, wasn't did somebody get killed or something happened to something something crazy happened that got swept under the rug in the midst of the shit. Exactly. And, uh, because they try to take other focuses to bring it to light and hide what's really going on behind closed doors. That's why I tell people stop. I was like, first off, no offense, Will Smith and Jada and Chris. Chris was a good, he was a bigger person because who you come on stage and smack me, baby. I got the Holy Ghost, but I got the everybody was too. talking about that. They forgot that a damn that many was, people died for some some to tell you to put a mask on. Uh, fucking, you can't go to where without a mask on your face right now. That shit is crazy. And uh, if you don't understand, that's not like a psycho ward. I don't know what the hell you where you come from. If you tell me, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that, if you don't put a mask on, it's like, what the fuck? What happened to fucking this life, man? And uh, it's like, nah, it's all kind of crazy rules and shit. What, what, what happened? Or you need shots if you want to go to a concert. If you oh, don't have the shot, did. you got to show that. That's where the microchip is coming. See, see, no. see, see, see. Now you got to you gotta get prepared for where it's about to get real. Y'all got to pay attention to what's happening. Some places done the chip. Pay attention because of what's happening. These dudes got a thing. They got a thing they built called the Neuralink to control a brain and make it do shit. So, so, the, and then they got that, and then they got they got oh man, robots is everywhere. So, so, so now you got a lot of weird robots. A lot of people that you think are people right now are not people. Some of them are robots. A lot of them are robots. It's a lot of weird shit going on right in front of your face, but. Because you're distracted, you don't think it's there. Oh, it's called cool. hitting in plain sight. Hitting in plain sight. So if you want to hide something from people, put it where they always look at. They will never see it there. Yeah. That's the way to do shit. So it's hitting in something that you're doing or seeing every day, but you don't even see it there. Unless yeah. you're using the discernment that is given. That, but that remember what the scripture said, those that have eyes and see not, have ears and hear not, we tapping into that right now. Mm -hmm. So this is what's happening in the world. You may have eyes, you don't see shit going on. And it's unless, bad shit happening. Unless you stay in one with him, that personal mm -hmm. relationship. Soon that personal relationship, up. he'll Ooh. tell you. He warns you, he sends you warnings and everything else. I'll be like, ooh, thank you. Black mm, they got trouble. something called AR right now, called augmented reality. So now they playing with your, they gonna play with your mind now. Mm -hmm. These devils that got smart now. So so now mm -hmm. they're like we're gonna get, we're gonna tap into the AR. We're gonna get them augmented reality. They gonna we're gonna make them think it's real. And then they go, they, then they turn our universe into a metaverse, where you're not really mm -hmm. real now. So so now, if you tap into you going you going into that now, what are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing it for? The enemy has released. I said this a month ago. The enemy released a heavy discord with the mind. The suicide rates have gone up. Mm hmm. Um, and I said this. I said this a month or two ago. I said the enemy released. God sent a warning. And people heed it and some don't. But I'm like, the enemy is messing with people's minds now. Now These the rape... doing public, they're doing public rituals and got people applaud, standing up and giving applause for it. Yeah. Yeah. And the suicidal rate has jumped up so much within these last two months. And I'm like, people... When God is giving warnings, listen. Remember, don't say we crazy because when you have a personal relationship with Abba the Father and he's warning you, that's when you need to cover your house. That's when you need to cover the people that you are truly linked to. Because anybody that's not linked to me, baby, that's on you if you don't heed me. I love y'all, but I got to keep it moving. 
because not everybody's going to receive us. And like in Luke, let's just speed off and go to who does and sit in fellowship. Whoever mm -hmm. don't, you're not denying me. You're denying his word. All I can do is be the messenger. Exactly. But he's exactly. messing with the mind, seriously. Yes, because that's that, that's the tool to control everything. Mess with your peace. If somebody mess with your, your mind, mind they, they can control it. They, they, they took over your whole world already. Yep. Yep. It's a wrap for you already. It is. It is. Not everything is meant to be meditation. That's how they got it right now. Because if you, you know what's so funny? It's deep. Because everybody in this, on this, in, in this world on their planet right now got a cell phone in their hand. Mm -hmm. And if you Google the amount of people that got a cell phone, first of all, how, how many people on the planet and then how many people... Cell phone users are scared of the living shit out of you. And uh, because then all those cell phones now got apps and different things in them now. So now that's going to collect it, all your information and that it needed, downloaded it, got it, boom, it don't need you now. And uh, now it can, make a, it can make a computer version of you and could get rid of you. Now they could get rid of you, the real, get rid of the real you and um, put, the, put, the, put the computer version out there. Let me tell you, I'm going to inbox you an app that you could use to block. I'll inbox you and tell you because I have. I, I'm loving where you already know where you're going. And that, and I, have, exactly. I have friends and family members in the military that told me what apps to use to block all that. So I'll inbox you that info and download that on your phone. And yes. you because activate I'm tell you that, that before people you don't even cool. realize it, and, and that's what like all these are all tracking the all these Facebook shits and all that shit. Social media is the tracking devices. Yep, that's all it is. Collects your information and give it to the to the to the beach yep. computer. It's one computer that runs all computers. It's called collects like your data. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, it, and once it get that, it spits on everything out, and you can have it, and um. It's called spam after that, and it throw you mm -hmm. spam, and it just because it, it, it collected what it needed after that, and and, yes. and, 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 and you a rap after that, and um, mm -hmm. and pay attention because you before you know you start seeing people people looking exactly like you somewhere, and yeah, and it'd be crazy to you like y'all wonder how that happened, yeah, because when you go in the dentist, they you don't think they ain't they swabbing shit, and you don't ever they see got it. your DNA, they got everything exactly exactly, and you, you never also, see it again. Pay attention, and the viewers, really pay attention. If you're shopping, and then you go on social media, and that app that you just purchased from pops up all of a sudden on your page, that's a sign they're monitoring you. When you play these little games, or let me see, take this game thing, and then boom, they get in specific mm -hmm. about you. You be like, what the hell? They watching everything you do. You know, you know, when you're in the supermarket, right? And uh, I tell a lot of people about this. When you're in the supermarket, when you get to the cereal aisle, notice how all, all the cereal boxes, the cartoons or whatever characters on the boxes, the eyes is looking down because they know the kids is small. So they know the kids is either in the carriage or they small. So the eye, it's all subliminal. Before you know it, your kids are one on the cereal and all the app because because all the boxes are subliminal checking them. And they're like, oh, what's that? What's that? They're going crazy. And um, this is how deep this game is that we live in, that we in the middle. It's that real. And because um, all that is a bunch of sugar. Sugar is like more, the most serial killer in the country. Dangerous thing. Exactly. Sugar, diabetes. And so, right. sugar and salt probably killed more people than you could ever think about. Mm -hmm. And it's not even funny. No, it's serious. That, that, that real. Yeah. My kids don't even eat um, cereal. I make eggs, bacon, um, grits, pancakes, 
home fries. I make it from scratch, everything. So, you know. I'm going to tell you if, you, if y'all didn't see the secret covenant of the Illuminati, I think you should check that. It may mm. scare you off the internet, but it may open your eyes to something that you wasn't thinking. But mm -hmm. it's interesting. It's, it's deep and it's interesting. And, um, I knew our conversation was going to be on another level. I love it. I love it. It's that real. And you got to understand the USA is, is a, when they say it, it's an ink. It's USA Inc. This is a company that we live in. It's not a country. A company has a president. Okay? A country has a chief. Mm -hmm. We got chief. We come from where the chief. We go see the chief of the, on the, on the, on the country. Who runs that neighborhood or that village or that town. We need to see the chief over there. See, once it became different cities and all that, that's when they took over. And now they, they could tell you the laws of what mm -hmm. you can, can and cannot do on it. Can and can do. Exactly, because now you you are you out of your own zone. So now yeah, like you, I'm what a you used to be in control of, they removed that. They put you on they put I you on cement floors. Rights back. Exactly. They covered it with cement right, floors. I ain't taking out female rights. And now you in a city, you live in a city life and you gotta follow, follow city laws and state laws now. Let me tell you. How about follow God's laws? That's when you stay on the land. No, stay on no. the land, you follow. Mm -hmm. you, you have to follow God's laws because what are you going to live off of? Right? right. You ain't got no light, bro, because the sun come out every day. The S-U-N and the S-O-N. You ain't got no light, bro, because the sun is on top. Right. And it stay on. Shit light up the whole damn universe. That's what is so 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 crazy. That's the light of the whole universe. You crazy? And um see they distract you and pulled you out of your own world. They pulled you out of your zone so they can so they can so they can manipulate you. And that's where you gotta shut it down and know what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong and stand on it. It's that real. Yeah. It's that real. Uh, it's that real that niggas is it's that real niggas is voting in child molesters to run the country and don't even know it. Cause they don't do their research. Facts. They they scared and they do things. They get them scared. See, they they get you scared with a pandemic and then you start voting for somebody you don't even know who they are, what they do, or what they even do, or where they come from. You just want somebody to help. Mm. And before you know you done put somebody else, somebody worse in a better position now. Mm. Pay attention, and um, don't don't. My whole thing right now is don't get distracted. I may I may put that on shirts and start selling it. Don't get Love. don't get distracted. That's how real it is. Stay on point because I'm telling focused. you, man. The stay angel focused, of death is not playing right now. He'll mm -hmm. come and swipe you right up out of here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Out of it. It'll take you out of there. It'll take you out of there. And then oh, you got you got rappers wearing skirts and dresses and your little kids are singing their songs. If you don't think that's a problem, man, we need to sit and talk then. And um that's how a big problem stop, with me. How about what you believe in? That's you, okay, but don't try to force it down our throat. Don't try to force it down our kids' throat. And don't try to that, change things in it's the whole system. robots now. Terminators running around in the world right now. Mm. And, um, it's scary right now. It's it's, it's, it's the Matrix. Is, it's a, it's a dark, dark. It's a dark tunnel, man. And um, a lot of dark things going on in that universe that your mind probably can't even perceive, but it's happening right now. So if you ain't if you ain't talking to your kids and take 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 your time to talk to your children and just tell them to get out of the room and go on the computer. You send them, you you send you might just send them to the damn the graveyard, man. Yeah. Oh, I watch what my kids watch. I go on, I check the computers. Let me tell you, I put on parental control oh, no, advisory. The cartoons is the cartoons is oh, homosexual no, no. too. So now now and the cartoons is the homosexuals. So now they're teaching the kids how to be it. And then they go to school 
and that school is telling you we got to talk about uh, sex. You don't even talk about that shit with your kids at home, and they tell the kids when they go to school now, they got to talk to them about their gender. Let me tell you something. My mother's a registered nurse. Mm -hmm. We teach our kids first. So whatever they pick up outside, they already know. They come home, I'm like, no, who told you that? Don't you dare listen to what, what we say. Okay, in this house, I'm old school. We gonna look, in this house, we serve the Lord. Mm -hmm. I don't know about everybody else, because by well, my house, we serve the Lord. So what we gonna I do- I come from an era where niggas used to be scared of their moms. Oh, mine is, I yoked them up. I'm like, yeah, you, you were scared of them up, but you just, yo, I gotta be in the house all the time, and I ain't getting fucked up for fucking with y'all niggas. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm be My on, kids run know. still to this day. They be like, yeah, I'm not. No, the mothers hang out with the kids, though. No. Nah, nah, I, the mothers... I'm a parent before I'm their friend. Because the simple fact it is. is crazy. The world is bugging like that. The we be in the club right together. Mm hmm The world is bugging. They, they bugging. They bugging. Okay. They distracted. I'm old school. They distracted because they too much they, they too much into the television. The tell our vision is always on. And it's all in telling them everything. They, they're like a robot. You know, they, they keep telling you, scared, be scared, 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 mm -hmm. be. Before you know, you don't, you don't want to do nothing because the TV told you to be scared all day. And, um, love. Like I said, whatever people do, float their boat, that's that. But in my house, we serve the Lord. In my house, we love, we love all. What you do is what you do try to force it on us because that's what we're not going to do. What happened to us being um, talk about slavery, but you want to talk about everything else? Y'all don't want to give us our weapon. And Look, check, you know, so you something. You know, so this is the, this is the, this is the craziest thing. I know it's a time that we used to take a walk and go to the library. Yo, we're going to go to the library. I got to go to make copies in there. Or just the, something you had to do. I want to go see the new the new uh, NBA magazine came out. I'm going in there. Now you got to act. You've never been to a library. You ask a kid, yo, have you been to a library before? They're looking at you like you damn astronaut. Huh? I take my kids to the library. The they got the app. The app, the, that app is nothing like going to the library. Go to the library. The library is where the lives is buried. So, so if you want to find out where the real shit is at, take your ass to the library. Hardcore books. I'm still old school. I got my boys. They get the books, too. Let me tell you, I love the books. You open it. You fold it. You highlight your underscore, your fold. And I'm an author. So you know See, the I the best love place if you want to hide something from, from people is the library. Is the library. Put it there. They ain't going to never look there. They're too distracted. Show. Exactly. They're too distracted. So, so, so just, just, the, the library, see, it's hitting in plain sight. So the name of it is telling you exactly what's going on. The library is where all the lies is buried at. It's a cemetery. <coughs> it's actually a cemetery. It is. It is. It's a, it's a, it's a cemetery for, 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 for information and knowledge. And, it uh, is. Because that, that's what. can keep it in your house as well. Like, I'm dating your now again. Your library is right here. It's, it's your mind. Yes. But That's your library also is your bookshelf to read the books, deposit in your brain, then tell your kids about it and make them read it too so they mm -hmm. know, so they can't feed you the lies in school that they like to try to talk about Martin Luther King. Yeah, Only want to talk about that, Malcolm X. I don't know. Once they, There's more once stuff. they start... This is going to happen soon, too. Once they start burning the books and getting rid of religion, guess what's going to happen to you? You ain't going to know what the... You ain't going to have a clue to anything. You're going to be like... Oh. They ain't burning my books. But that's coming. They ain't that's burning coming. my books. That's coming. That's coming because... You, oh, they're going to try. You've been vaccinated now, so you don't need to... You can't control or nothing. So now they can tell you what you can do, what you're going to do, where you're going to go, what you're going to eat, where you're going to sleep. They're going to run your whole damn life now. And, um, we ain't becoming no Nazis. See, this whole thing was a scare to get you to take... See, 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 they had to figure out something to get these niggas to take a chip. They're like, how are we going to chip them? Oh, I ain't getting no chip.
Devil is a liar. A lot of people chipped up right now. There's a lot of people chipped up right now. I've seen them fools getting chipped. I was like, you dumb dummy. I they said chipped. it. They chipped early. <laughs> they, chipped early. they chipped early. Niggas are chipping their dogs already. Their dogs are chipped up already. And um, that vaccine is a damn chip. I don't give a fuck what, what, what the government said. The government, the li most lionest people on the planet. I don't want to hear that shit. And um, it's funny. None of them niggas took that vaccine, but they all telling you to take it. Fuck out of here. And they all came shit. down with the COVID. Mm -hmm. See? You see how it is? And then the nigga that and made, people get the, 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 nigga the, vaccine did, the nigga that made the vaccine didn't even take it. They run around with no. This, this shit is crazy. It's like pay attention, man. Forget because you sitting there worried about some shit that happened on the TV. But but it's real life shit going on right now that's happening. We about to go out to go into another world war because they fucking with the wrong people now. That Ukraine shit about to pop off and be bad shit to happen. And, um, right? Because you got you got niggas right now that's doing shit, and you got Elon Musk. Is Bugging right now. He got a lot of money. He just buying, buying shit, just doing shit. And um, he done fucking around and said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help China out with the Ukraine. So see, mm -hmm. see, see, now he done did so he he watched the whole thing that nobody seen the whole time. That whole thing in China and Russia going at it. And um see this you country. Right? This country doesn't, see, right now, there's no boogeyman right now available. But they don't give them all. So now all the so-called boogie monsters that was around, they had lied to us about before, they dead now. So now the boogeyman is actually the one that was telling you who was the boogeyman. So so mm -hmm. now, now the dream going to get real. It is. And everybody better wake up. Because wake look the fuck at this like show. We said in 96 of 95, wake up. We told y'all niggas, wake, wake the fuck up. Wake up a long time up. ago. It's that real. Here's the thing. I said, I said it's 9-6. In 1996, I was telling you, beware of microchips. Yeah. That shit hit harder than slave whips. It's like I'm ready to give tips from Egypt to sea ships to being chased by New York cops out the precincts. If words was bricks, we built in projects and pyramids. Evil kids, I'll destroy your ass like London Bridge. Smoke trees and weed, take off the leaves out the twigs. You know what's interesting now? Nah, 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 nah. See, this is the other distraction they threw in the Matrix. Weed is legal. So now they legalize weed because they did that, and then they take away your, 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 your license, your gun license. They took away your, they took away that. Now you can't get a gun because you're smoking weed. So 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 now when the war comes, and niggas going up on you, go down. Y'all yeah, going to get a gun? Nigga, like what you, you got? You got weed in your system. You can't have it. See, these niggas are smart, man. And then they they play. They play. This is a psychological warfare that we in right mm -hmm. now. Ain't none of this shit what you think it is. It's all oh, psychological. For real. And everybody that's locked up because of weed should be let out because it's now legal. Not yet either. You know what? Weed is a medicine, so what the fuck is it doing exactly. in the first place? Exactly. So, so that, that alone is the problem. Because it's like, oh, wait a minute, who, is, who, is, who, is, who are you to say it's legal or not legal? That shit came out the ground. Thank you. Anything where you, where from you the it ground from? is Mother Nature. Yeah, where you getting it from? It's legal, it's not legal. No, no. First of all, we got to talk about it. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, see, see, they don't want that. Scarce shelves. Mm-hmm. Coming with, coming with a famine. I keep telling people, y'all better learn how to start growing your vegetables and everything else. We're coming with a famine. The shelves on the grocery stores are becoming really scarce. Are y'all paying you don't, attention? I'm sure some some of us may know or be aware of this. But pay attention right now. They keep calling something called the Great Reset is about to come. So don't think it's just words. Oh, no, it's coming. And it's also, it's about to get real. Stop using all credit cards and stuff and start having cash on your behind because they want to change everything. No more checks through your cards. 
No, no, no. Cash. They, got, they can't they got, track they you if you do they got cash. All the information that they needed to get from everybody. So now they can pull a plug on it. Now they're like, okay, now we got a billion. Look, look how many users was on Facebook. I bet you never did that. Google how many Facebook users it is. Mm -hmm. The number of people going to scare the living shit out of you. And then it's like, how is that? That's just one fucking platform. So, 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 so. Then after that, then Google how many Instagram users it is. It, it is. Then you're going to mm -hmm. see that. That's going to fuck your head up. And then yeah. look at how many population of people is on the planet Earth. They already figured out how to control half the planet Earth just by social media, yo. That shit is the scariest shit to me. I'm like, damn, these niggas that created this shit, smart, the smartest motherfuckers, yo. How could you create some shit that you got damn near two billion fucking people on it, on a whole fucking planet in the universe? Use an L nigga. We need, we need, we need to talk about that kind of shit. And uh, how, how you? That's how. That's crazy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. And see, now, once they got you on there, then they combined it all together, or you can't use it. See, see, mm -hmm. see, this is where, see, it's getting ready to come, the, the chip going to come soon. Next, that going, now, come, we, now, now that we got two, three trillion people on this shit, this is what we do. We tell them they can't use it or, or unless they pay for it or unless they have a chip in them, unless mm -hmm. they get, unless they vaccinate it. And then that's the only way you could use it. See, mm -hmm. get ready for that next. Half people won't even survive. I'm a die, man. And Facebook said I can't use the shit if I don't take the niggas are gonna go crazy. And um but they, they figured it out. They figured out how to control it. Oh shit. They're like, yo, we yeah. we, 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 we we got it now. People need and to pay attention. Wake up. Facts, facts, wake, facts. Up. wake up. Wake up. Wake facts, up. Wake up. Because it's more people it's more people. On social media, than it is in the Bible right now, and, and, and that's scary. Right. That's scary because if it's two trillion people on one damn media, social media app, and none of them is looking in the scriptures right now, we're in a dangerous fucking universe. I'm scared to see what's going to happen after that kind of shit because this is because the Bible is real. So, so oh, it's real. basic instruction, no right matter you like it or not. So whether you agree with the shit or whatever you don't don't say, it's gonna happen. So so get with it or, or whatever. It's, it's it's gonna go down. And um, I'm gonna send you some of my spoken words. Please do some of my spoken words. And when I tell you, they all come from him. And warning, God sent me to do a spoken word. Guard the gate about the intercessors. And he was like, get on the wall, get in position. Something is coming. I didn't know it was a pandemic, but he said, warn them. A lot of people heed me, and a lot of people didn't. But the ones that heed me, inboxed me, was like, thank you for doing that. Intercessors got in their position. There's a yeah. lot of people who dropped their mantles, and a lot of intercessors who's not in position. And that's why we have so much demonic attacks, because people are dropping their mantles. Exactly. And see, see, and they got you doing things that you ain't even supposed to be doing right now. Come on. Living in sin and loving it. And I'm like, do you not know we in the last days? Y'all better get your behinds right. But what you're not going to do is do it with my kids under that roof. That's you. Ooh, ooh, that's another topic. Mm -hmm. this, way get, this is where it get This is where you're going to find out who been edifying with their children or not. And see, and see, when it get real, this is where you're going to be mad if you didn't spend time in teaching your kids what they need to be told right now. Because what's happening is, is, is fierce and it's serious right now. I tell my kids every day, I anoint their heads with oil every day when they're under my roof. When they're about to go to their fathers, I anoint it and I pray heavier when they This is not the house. time. This is the time to be a parent to your kids, not their friends. Come on. That's what I be saying. I tell them salt and sugar look alike. You better ask God who sent them. Was it, huh? Who sent you? Check who is coming because the simple fact is your friends could be your enemies. You better act like you know and start checking. 
And if I it's see something real. in one of their friends, I cut it. That I shut it. I don't give a flying fig. You ain't got to like me. I'm your mama. I'm here to protect you. God gave you my three sons. God gave you to me. To what? Guard you. Protect you. Show you the right path. Because the simple fact is, no devil is touching mine. My baby, not- because you will see this prayer warrior go into heavy flip plates and everything else. I will come for you in so many ways spiritually. Because when I see the enemy attacking, can't get to me, the next thing they're going to do is get to my kids because they know that's my weakest link is my kids because that's my pride. So I go down and I go into prayer and then I call all my prayer warriors. That that's I exactly that why you got to, that's why you got to be teaching them. Because exactly. that's the provide as as a parent, you the provider for that. So you the edifier. one ain't you doing right. To, that's I like a, that's like a farmer that's that's planting seeds and never waters and shit, and never and never got a sunlight. No 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 sun. You ain't doing you ain't doing nothing for it. You just put it, planting seeds, but you ain't doing nothing for it. No watering, you ain't giving it no no food though. Yeah, it gotta. I eat. shut it down because I'm like, oh no, I don't know what your mama do at your house, but in my house, we don't cuss up in here. I don't care. You 11 years old. I tell my son all the time. I said, what is, what in the world? I was like, little boy. I'm telling you, and the don't cartoons and all that. Like, it's not helpful. You. It's not helpful. It's not helpful for 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 the children. Mm-hmm. And uh, be careful with that. I just because it is that's a dog who they're friends with and everything. Trust. Elo Kush is on. He says Riza is one of the greatest. That's my beloved right there. Peace, beloved. Salute, King. Thank you guys for tuning in. I know you said you had some things you had to do. But I love our conversation. I love us keeping it real. I love us speaking facts. I love us talking about the Almighty King, the one this and is the, only. This is the time right now. This is see you don't get on here and talk about the the worldly. No. That, that this is there's no there's no juice in that. There's no juice in that. There's no juice in that right now. Let me tell it's you, not. God had me write the book in God's hands told my testimony the second book was my autobiography to tell my testimonies of mm. my trials and tribulations and how I've overcome the right. third book life after death links to our legacy mm. creating generational wealth each book brought on another attack now the fourth book the essence of God when I tell you he took me to another elevation, but Satan brings Satan with the enemy as well. And when I tell you heavy warfare, it's that real. It's dead real. See, we gotta and remember it says, for thou art a holy, a holy people unto the Lord thy God. So mm-hmm. if you're doing anything right now other than being holy, your father's upset with you, kid. Yes, but that's how real it is. I'm holy. That's that ain't that, right that now. Be, so wait, uh-huh. I, have to, ooh, I have to stay in heavier prayer. My babies are that's not That's the best with way to me. be right now. Yes, that's the best in way the to morning, be. In the morning, in the morning, before you lift your head up off the pillow, I say thank you, Heavenly Father, for the breath in my body and another day. And that's Deuteronomy seven six. Somebody throw that into the into the chat room. Do the do the round of me seven six. You see what I'm, what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. And I anoint the kids' heads. I anoint. I pray at night in the middle of the night when everybody else is sleeping. I'm up praying. I'm up, and whoever enters my spirit, I pray for them because the simple fact is, see, when you said, know the gifts that you carry. Do. We follow ho- holidays instead of the holy days. We was given holy days, but we'd rather follow a holiday before we follow a holy day. Let me tell you, 
Yep. Yeah. Like that was that was. I don't understand. I don't think people understand how deep our relationship is with the Most High. For somebody to have a covenant with you, that's mm. a contract. You under yes, contract. Yes, it is. Bottom line, I don't know what you want to do or what you feel like doing. None of that shit don't matter. You under contract. You under contract with the Most High. So that means all the contracts is voided. So, so, and when so, you're so. doing, when you're doing His will. Thank you. He's well, not going to tell you everything that's going to come. Man of his word. So he asked you. He protects his. He asked you to, to do that. You on the contract under the under under the sake of Abraham, man. We live it under grace, man. That's scary. Is they ain't that got, much you he's giving power, left you no more. Got power over your own life right now. So it's like you you got two choices. Which one you gonna choose? I was Whatever like, you, you got. It's, it's, it's crazy right now. It's crazy right now. I believe his report. I do the blind faith. See that's see that that's a gem right there. Blind faith. Mm -hmm. And when he says, leave everything and I will supply all your needs, when I say he supplies all my needs, when he gives you permission to leave a situation, listen, thank you, Lord. I'm out. When he say go, I go. When he say shut up, even though it kills me sometimes, I shut up. Ooh, I it's shut real. Up it's, it's... I, it be eating me. But then that's the obedience comes in. That's the accountability. Because if that's, you around my kids, I'm holding everybody accountable. Because what you're not going to do. It get crazy because that Ark of the Covenant, everybody was after that. Every mm -hmm. nation was like, we got to get that from them. And every time somebody took it, they would end up running the planet or something big happening. And... um. Look at where, where we was at in Babylon. When Babylon had it, it was Babylon was at the greatest on the planet. Mm -hmm. And then it went out and kept kept going. It kept it kept cause after and somebody who somebody lost it and then somebody got it back. Oh, what's that? What's that? I think King David got it back, and uh, somebody lost it before him. He got it back and then he left it with Solomon. And Solomon built the temple to protect it. And that's why the temple was actually doing. That temple was protecting that ark from everybody coming to get it. Because everybody was like, yo, if we, they said that they said whoever every, had possession. They ran shit. So they're like, we gotta get that ark for them niggas so we can take over all this shit. That was like their nuclear weapon. It's like wherever we go, we 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 run we we wherever that ark was, they was running shit. And it was it was it was on it was on from there, and then and then um that's why like we gotta get it we gotta get it they kept like mm -hmm. they kept get that get that funnel and we good. Yep. And the that's, thing that's, is, that's what the decalogue came. In. That was the contract. The, the, the contract came in. That. The holy land, wherever mm -hmm. it was, you on holy ground. Take your shoes off. You on That's holy the ground. Land. Take your That's shoes the promise off. Land. The fertile crescent. The fertile crescent is where Abraham walked. You know, it's deep. You know, so deep about. I was kind of find out he was in those same areas where they kept talking about the Babylons and all. The, there was ancient Sumeria. That's where he was at, man. He was in it, basically. So now you guys, who to come who's in the midst of in. that. Huh? I was going to tell them who's tuning in, do precepts. I do the precepts where it breaks down each chapter of the Bible. Mm -hmm. The precepts makes you dig deeper in the Bible. And when you do the precept with Ruth, when you do the precept of Luke, when you do the precept of each one, the mm -hmm. most important one, God had me as, he was like, right now you walk in like you're in Job right now. And when I tell you, whoo, 
the fire Job went through, but he still kept his faith when others was trying to tell him deny the God. But then look at what God gave him back then, some mm -hmm. and more. And see, we and you know what's so funny about that word? Because that word is actually a job. Yes. So you all gonna go? You all gonna you know they say get you gotta get a job. You gotta get a job. You gotta get your job. You gotta find your job. Find go through your job. You gonna find your job. Yep. And in that. He broke. He had a break job to get him to do his will. And what happened? That he asked, did it. Had to ask. Satan had to ask, can he test him? And uh, he couldn't even fuck with God. him. Because, exactly. He, he couldn't even touch him without permission. You know you know how scary that is, so that somebody can't even touch you? You're anointed by something you can't even see. And, um, uh, Things can't even touch you because of that, and you don't even, you don't even, you don't even get praised. You don't even praise that. You're a fool. God allowed them to touch you. Huh? God allowed them. God allow you them to touch you, but not kill you, and that'll show mm. the strength. <laughs> Build your strength on that, and when your strength is built, the next attack that comes, you like. That? That's all you got, devil? Yo, I want all the smoke. Because the simple fact is, you already... If I've been through the hell and back, and I come out not smelling like smoke like the three Hebrew boys, come on. Get, hit me with your best shot. That's what you got? I've been there already. I'm not repeating That's it. deep. That's deep, because I went, I, I went through my Lazarus. This was my Lazarus. And uh, I, 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 I kind of was in the coma for about six days, three days or so. So, so I went through my list. My list. you gotta die to yourself to 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 give birth. Yeah. So I had I, I had to put an end to something for the beginning. To yep. come. So, so that's what was happening. What was happening was when I said, "Okay, don't after this hell raising shit, man." This is the boom boys. So that had to stop for for the heaven raising to even get started. And um, because before that it was just an idea, and um, but but you gotta be careful with your ideas because you give life to those, mm -hmm. and they will sometimes become life. So and you gotta rebuke you them keep, if it keep, ain't keep, right. Mm -hmm, because that, that you you you, have, you create your own storm like that, and you're, Ooh, you, you ain't that the truth. Mm. And that's because mm. the word. You gotta keep keep in mind the words is who when you when you when you wanna say a word what well, you gotta do is spell it out. Be careful with it. what's a spell? A spell. Word spells. So there's a lot of word spells that people casting on you. And they were talking about we casting gems. Yeah, they casting gems, all right. You better be careful what kind of gems they may be casting on you. Exactly. And, um, and what you need to do is look, I always tell everybody this, whoever is connected to me. When you wake up after giving God the glory of waking up another day, I always ask God, cover and protect, clear out anything that is not of you, God. And Lord, anyone that means me any harm, reveal it to me and protect me and mine. Because the simple fact is, what I can't see, give me my discernment to see past that flesh. I need like, to see you said that thing about gangster shit all day. And then you wonder why, yo, know, I'm in the fucking the nigga trying to give me 25 to life. Why do you think you're sitting there all day programming yourself with that fucking music and that fucking mentality? That's what I gonna, so. That's exactly you. you, you it's going to attract that shit to you. I so. So that's why you want to be, and that's why they keep constantly playing that type of shit on the radio. So they throw that shit on the radio so you can go to jail. So you can and they play shit that make you like going to jail. So 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 you like yo, I can't wait. Next you can't wait to get locked up. Yeah, I can't wait to go to jail. That's my shit, yo. This nigga, this, this shit is bad hard, yo. And then see they tell tricked and fooled you to like shit that you used to hate before. Remember, Lucifer was in charge of the choir until he got kicked out of heaven. Mm-hmm. So and music was a big fucking tool. Like, a big watch tool. Watch the ear gate. Watch what you're listening to. Watch what you're watching. 
something to that nature. You know, I, I noticed, set my you know what's tricky about that? that I want to say, I don't want to say tricky, but what I noticed about that was that's truth to it, but at the same time, David knew a way to his heart, too. Mm -hmm. And once he figured it out, he kept doing it. It was singing. David used to sing to the Musa. And sing and dance for the Lord. All the time. And he, and he loved that. He loved that. He loved to hear that. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, he was a fierce warrior, though. Mm -hmm. This nigga would murder animals with his bare hands, man. Kill people with his bare hands, yo. But he could sing enough to make the Lord love him. And, and David was after God's heart. When you're after God's heart, ah, oh, now the enemy want to mess with us. Are you there? If you can hear me, Lord, while we're speaking and the enemy is trying to mess with this interview, we ask you to bind it up, destroy it right now. Let us keep speaking because we are giving you the glory, God. We are giving you the praise. We rebuke anything. Okay, I lost him. Hold on. He lost service. I'm going to try to get him back. Um... Okay, so as you can see, I lost him, but thank you guys for tuning in. We're getting this on YouTube ASAP. It needs to be said. We are living in our last times. I don't, I don't force my religion on anyone, but I will not deny my Heavenly Father because I've come a mighty long way and I am a walking testimony as well. I'm a living, walking, breathing testimony. But the most important thing is I know where my help comes from. So I thank you guys for tuning in. Like and share, follow, follow, follow. We love y'all. We thank you. Thank you for being loyal. Thank you for following us. We appreciate y'all. Have a blessed night, a safe weekend.